Families. Now, if I asked you how important families are to God's church, I think you would all agree that they are very important. In fact, you might even say families are the building blocks of any successful local church. So then ask yourself this question. How focused is your local church on strengthening families outside of the weekly Sabbath service? How involved is your church in strengthening the home? The Family Ministries Department administered a statewide survey in 2022 with three goals it wanted to achieve. Number one, know the demographic of the Victorian Conference better. Number two, understand and prioritize the needs of the conference for resourcing purposes. And number three, have a quantifiable reason for the need of the Family Ministries Department. Now, let me share with you some results that we found. Firstly, it was amazing to see the cultural differences in how we do worship in our homes. Three quarters of African Americans and Asians reported to have singing as part of their worship experience. 65% of Caucasians and 87% of Asians reported to have prayer as a part of their worship. And more than 80% of African Americans and Asians reported to use a devotional. Now, interestingly, 3% overall used a game in their worship. Everyone does worship differently, but is worship important? We found out that yes, it most certainly is. We found that those who don't currently do worship at home, 10% of their children are still in the Adventist church and the other 90% of their children no longer attend church at all. Now, in contrast, those who go to church every week, 97% reported to have at least worship once a week as a child. But what was surprising was when worship was compared to church attendance. We compared the impact of going to church as a child to having worship as a child, just to see if one was more impactful than the other. And this may surprise you. We looked at all the children who were still in the Adventist church, those who worship in another denomination, those who still believe but don't attend a church, and those who no longer believe in God at all. Then we looked at their parents' upbringing to see if there was a pattern. And we found that with the kids who were still in the church in a different denomination and who don't attend but still believe, so in other words, those, those who still have a faith, the parents' upbringing were almost all the same. Almost 75% of them went to church when they were young every week, and almost 100% of them had worship at least once a week when they were a child. The big difference comes with the children who no longer believe. In 50% of their parents, they still went to church every single week faithfully, but 0% of the parents had worship at least once a week. In other words, each child that had a parent who had worship every week when they were young still retained their faith in God. In this very simple stat, we see the power of worship in the home even more so than church attendance. Now, there are a lot more stats and info in the full report, and that can be found and downloaded on the vic.adventist.org.au forward slash families website. But I hope you can see that if we want to strengthen our church long term, we need to invest in future generations. And we do that by making the home our number one priority. And considering that 78% of first generation Adventists do not have worship at home when they were a child, we have a group of people to minister and resource to. So remember, the world is not so much in need of great minds, but rather of good men and women who will be a blessing in their homes. So let's not forget, strong families equals strong churches.